What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. If you want up to 15 free stocks, Moo Moo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moo Moo brokerage account and put at least $100 to $1,000 in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 15 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Go click on that Moo Moo link. Open up your new Moo Moo account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Guys, there are four things we have to consider if we're planning on building wealth and get into our pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. These four things are so instrumental in your financial development that I had to make a video about it. I just couldn't go one more day without letting you guys know these important things you need to do in 2024 and beyond in order to get yourself to financial freedom. The first thing I want you guys to consider when getting to wealth is your income slash earnings. See, income and earnings are the cornerstone, man. They're the number one tool you will have in your tool belt in order to build wealth. The more income you make, the more you keep, the more you position yourself to invest in assets and build wealth. Now, some of y'all might say, Richard, uh, yeah, we know that. But the problem is I don't have enough income. My expenses exceed my income. Or here's the simple truth, guys. If your expenses exceed your income, you got to make more income. And then you're going to have to do what? Stop spending money on the wrong things. Right? But you got to make more income if your current income is not sufficient enough. How do you do that? Well, you go out and get you some side hustles. We can't be too proud, guys, to go out and do things that we can do immediately to bring more cash flow into our home. DoorDash. Uber. Lyft. Whatever we got to do, guys, to immediately bring in more income. It's not forever. It's for a short period of time just until you get yourself right size. Because I get the comment all the time. But what? Hey, I ain't making enough money. What, what can I do? And then when I tell people what they can do, they don't want to do it. That's a problem with our country. See, people don't want to do the things that they don't want to do. They only want to just do what they want to do. Problem is, if you ain't got enough income coming in, you haven't built no assets. You don't get the, the choice to do what you want to do. See, you only get that choice when you build assets and build wealth and you have passive income coming in that can take care of you. Then you get to do what you want to do. But until you have that, you have to do what you have to do. That's just the, the short of it, guys. The second thing you need to consider on this wealth journey is your spending. A lot of us spend more than we make on stuff that makes somebody else wealthy. We, we spend a lot of money on indulging ourselves, on pleasure in this country. A lot of, lot of people out here living on more than what they make because they spend a lot of money on pleasuring themselves, pampering themselves, spoiling themselves. Because in their mind, they think they deserve it. I worked hard all last week. I'm gonna go ahead and spend this $150 on this hairdo. I worked hard all last week. I'm going to go ahead and spend this thousand dollars on this little excursion to, to Jamaica. Oh, I worked hard last week. I'm going to go ahead and treat myself to a nice Louis bag. See, you ain't going to get the wealth with that type of attitude and spending habits, guys, because you're going to always spend more than you make. If you want to get to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, you're going to have to delay some gratification. You're going to have to. How do you do that? Get yourself a budget. Sit yourself down. Write down all the income you got coming in, all the in income you got going out. 
and track it and make a conscious decision that you're not going to spend money to make other people wealthy. You're going to you're going to save that money and make yourself wealthy. The third thing that you got to consider on this wealth journey is debt. Consumer debt in the United States has reached almost 18 trillion dollars, guys. 18 trillion dollars. People going out buying stuff to make other people wealthy. Yeah, 18 trillion. <laughs> Credit card debt is through the roof. It's reached an all time high, about 1.3 trillion. Student loan debt, 1.6 trillion. Auto loan debt, approaching 2 trillion. It's just nuts that we spend the type of money we spend to make other people wealthy. That's the thing you got to stop doing, guys, if you want to get to wealth. This debt that we have in this country is sucking all of our cash. Therefore, we have no cash left to build wealth. That's why 100 million Americans in this country have no retirement savings. That's why about 62% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. That's why personal savings have went from two trillion dollars two years ago down to nothing present day because of debt our ability to not delay gratification our ability to always want to pleasure ourselves and indulge ourselves and it's left us a country of spenders not a country of savers and investors the fourth thing you got to consider when you're trying to get to wealth is investing, guys. All the wealthiest people in this world invested in order to build that wealth. Did you know 88% of millionaires in the United States are self-made? And, 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 and guess how they built their wealth? Through investing and assets that build wealth. They invested in a business. They invested in real estate for income. They invested in paper assets. They invested in precious metals. They invested in antiques collectibles and memorabilia. But they invested in something that would go up in value. And that's how they got to their millionaire status. Question is, what are you gonna do? It's 2024, it's a new year. What are you gonna do to get to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Are you gonna follow these four wealth principles I just gave you? Or are you gonna continue to just pleasure yourself? Make excuses. I hope you don't pleasure yourself and make excuses. I hope you take your earnings, control your spending, stay out of debt and invest. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about those four wealth steps that I think you should be taking. If you want up to 15 free stocks, guys, you gotta click on that link below. Sign up for Moo Moo today and get yourself up to 15 free stocks. Go get that free stock, go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button thoughts become things you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hands you guys keep chasing your greatness never stop believing in yourself stay healthy stay wealthy i'll catch you guys on the next video peace today's video is sponsored by my company rf financial consulting and in my company i work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions and in those one hour sessions we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.